From the SAP Easy Access menu, choose Logistics, Materials Management, Logistics Invoice Verification, Document Entry, Enter Invoice, or use Transaction MIRO. If you start Transaction MIRO, for the first time, you must specify a company code in a dialog box. 1. Choose the Transaction Invoice. 2. In the document header on the Basic Data tab, enter the invoice date, the number of the vendor invoice, that is reference, and the gross invoice amount, as well as the tax amount with a tax code. 3. Determine the assignment to a procurement transaction. You can refer to purchase orders, but also to delivery notes of the goods receipts, as long as this information was entered during goods receipt. 4. Enter the number of the document, to which the invoice refers. You can also reference several documents. To do so, choose more allocation criteria. A dialog box appears, in which you can enter several document numbers. 5. In the item list, the system proposes all purchase order items that fulfill the relevant allocation criteria. Compare the suggested invoice items with the items in the vendor invoice and correct the proposed values for quantity and value, if necessary. The items to be posted must be selected, that is highlighted in yellow. The booking OK indicator in the invoice, in transaction MIRO, must not be confused with the OK indicator of the goods movement, in transaction MIGO. With the booking OK indicator, you can select already checked and processed items. This indicator has no effect on whether or not the item is taken into account when the invoice is posted. 6. Check whether the invoice is arithmetically correct. This is the case if the balance is zero. 7. Finally, post the transaction MIRO used for entering invoices and credit memos in logistics invoice verification is a single screen transaction. In the case of this transaction, data is divided into header and item data. The figure shows the individual screen areas. The screen areas in transaction MIRO are as follows. Transaction. In this field, you indicate whether you are entering an invoice, a credit memo, or a subsequent debit, or a subsequent credit. Header data. In this area, you enter the header data of an invoice. For example, the invoice number and date, the gross invoice amount and tax amount, the invoicing party, and the terms of payment. Assignment. Here you assign an ordering transaction to the invoice, so that the system proposes the invoice items to be processed. Invoice items. In this list, you can check the proposed invoice items and change them in line with the actual invoice. You can use different layouts to change the display of the columns and their sequence. Vendor data. The detailed data pertaining to the invoicing party derived from the vendor master record is shown here. Choose Display Vendor to branch directly to the Vendor Master Record. Vendor data is displayed only if you have entered an invoicing party or referenced to a purchase order. Balance. The balance and the invoice status are displayed here. For example, whether an invoice can be posted, shown as green traffic light, or whether the invoice was blocked for payment during posting, shown as yellow traffic light. PO Structure. In this area, the person entering the invoice can see the purchase order histories for the PO items from the item overview.